Family, I have the distinct pleasure of bringing up tonight's trainer. So let me take just a moment to tell you about Miss Nina Jackson Mitchell. Now, we've referred to her affectionately as our platinum pineapple. She has now relocated, so she's our platinum peach. But guess what? She is a one star platinum. She is also an amazing travel booker, multiple IATAN card holder, six figure ring earner. She's an amazing mentor and trainer. She has such a practical style. Whenever she trains, you can count on getting information that you can put into practice immediately. Not something that's just nice to hear, not notes to sit on a shelf, but something that you will be able to utilize right away. She is always being selfless and giving of her time to make sure that our walk through Wednesdays go well, that we always have the best that we can in order to be the top travel bookers and team builders possible. So family, I need a big favor from you. I want you to go to the chat box and I want you to show as much love as you can as we welcome to the floor, Nina Mitchell, our platinum peach, our Founders Council member, our trainer for tonight. Are you available, Nina, to take the call? Aloha. Well, I guess this is my last aloha. I still haven't figured out how they greet people here in Georgia, so I'll figure that out soon. But thank you so much, Deidre, for taking this time to host for me specifically. You know, I appreciate you and everything you do in every way. Guys, take a moment and say thank you to Deidre in the chat box because she is so awesome. That is our resident techie. She always does an amazing job. So if you haven't done so already, take some time and introduce yourself in the chat box so your fellow travel agents know who you are and where you're logging in from. And guys, make sure what up though works everywhere. Thank you, Tasha. <laughs> because I know there are a lot of people from all over the place here in Georgia. So just to give you guys a little bit of history about me and let me turn on my camera because I usually don't. Um, so you guys can see me. Hello, hello, hello from Georgia. <laughs> I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, like Deidre said. Uh, my name is Mrs. Nina Jackson Mitchell. I've been with Evolution Travel literally since day one when we did our soft launch in December of 2015. And I've been doing this full time since February of 2016. So if you're wondering if you can have a successful career full time, with not only our company, but in travel, I am proof positive that you can. As Deidre said, I have earned my IATAN card five times now and I'm working on the sixth. I am a top income earner on both sides. I book and I build, but building was not my priority when I came in. I just wanted to earn extra income so that I can help support my family. I lived in Honolulu, Hawaii, so aloha to the agents on the line that said that they were from Hawaii. I just left you guys almost a month ago. So I miss you, but I love it here in Georgia. The South is treating me well, um, but it was very expensive to live in Hawaii. So I started off my career here in travel just part-time as I worked full-time as a social worker for the Department of Human Services in um, Honolulu, Hawaii and Kalihi, for those of you who are in or on Oahu. So this was only supposed to be a part-time thing, but it took over and created a life of its own. And it kind of happened to me. And as I use the tools that I'm going to talk to you guys about tonight, my business grew and attracted other people to join the business to do what I'm doing, which is how I became a one-star platinum. I am also a 100K ring earner in our company. And as I said, I'm in the top 20 every year for top travel commission earners for the lifetime of the company. And I'm in the top 20 every month for a top um, re um, residual income earners on the um, team building side. So it can happen for you. You just have to treat it like it's a business and it will pay you like one. So if you don't already have something to write on or something to write with, take a brief moment and grab something because I'm going to give everyone that's on the line now some nuggets that you can use. Now, the smartest person in the room knows that they are not the smartest person in the room. 
I'm saying that to say, I'm a student, a constant student, and I get on training so that I can learn from other people. So even if you are a top income earner in the, in the company, or if you're very new in the company, you can all learn something tonight. So I'm hoping that you, are, you all you guys come with an open mind and an open heart so that we can learn together and we can sharpen our iron together because iron sharpens iron, right? So I talk with my hands a whole lot and I don't wanna distract you guys. And I, even though I know you're not used to seeing my face because I've kind of been off the grid for about two years now, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. So I'm, I'm getting all of the energy that I can get just from seeing your smiling faces and it's making me even more excited to get to see you guys. But I'm gonna turn off my camera because I don't wanna be a distraction. OK, so um, don't hesitate to take a screenshot of what you see. This training is being recorded so you'll be able to watch it over and over again. I usually don't listen to myself as I train, so I'm actually going to watch it and learn with you guys, too. So don't hesitate to watch this over and over so that you can pour into yourself because the information does not age. These are things that you're going to have to remind yourself of so that you can build on and build your business, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me share my screen so we can make it happen. Again, if you haven't taken time to introduce yourself, do that in the chat box and let people know where you are from so that you guys can connect. And if you see somebody from your state, send them a message so that you can study together. Iron sharpens iron, do not hesitate to do that. Okay, so let me turn off my camera. I'm going to share my screen and let's get it started. All right, can everybody see the screen? Give me a yes, yes, yes in the chat box. Thumbs up. Thank you, Mel. I like that purple shirt too. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get it started. Charles, I want to say that All Star in Training is really hyping me up. Way to go. All right, guys. So again, I am your one star platinum, Mrs. Nina Jackson Mitchell. And we're going to talk tonight about how to promote tour packages and not just to promote them, but to promote them effectively. Um, I don't want to talk too much about myself. I am who I am. But the thing is, is I'm a student too. So let's learn together, guys. And if you don't see your partners on this line tonight, shoot them a text message and tell them you're about to miss out. You need to be on the line tonight. All right, let's get it started. So first things first, let's talk about what tour packages are. Let me move this out of the way because I'm blocking my own view. All right, so what are tour packages? Tour packages are packages that include multiple elements of a vacation all rolled into one. So that can include the airfare, the land portion, the airport transfers, attraction tickets, a rental car. That is a package. So not something that stands alone by itself, so if you're booking a hotel, that would not classify as a package. However, if you added the rental car onto it, that would make it a package, right? Some people would refer to it as a bundle, but you want to make sure that you get the lingo so that you can communicate effectively also in the travel industry. So we are talking about tour packages. Now these packages may include a combination of accommodation, transportation activities and more as they are sold together. So just to do a quick count, type in the chat box if you have quoted or sold travel packages so far. If you have quoted or sold travel packages so far. All right, I'm seeing yeses, I'm seeing yeses. Okay, quotes, keep quoting, that's practice, keep quoting. All right, and if you have not quoted anything yet, I am going to give you some tips on how to start getting to the point where you can quote because you're gonna have to attract your market, right? All right, all right. And for those of you who are brand new that just started, this is going to help you. You're gonna have to develop some thick skin and keep at it meaning you're gonna to have to work at it every single day. You should do something in travel for at least 15 to 30 minutes a day if you're gonna do this part-time, or at least an hour to three hours a day if you're going to do this full-time, but stick with it, right? Stick with it. 
by purchasing tour packages, your travelers don't have to worry about creating their own itinerary or sifting through the many, many options available to them. So we like to do these training interactively, me specifically. So I'm going to be asking you guys to communicate with me in the chat box so I know you're here with me, right? So how many of you guys have been guilty of buying groceries for the week and still stopping by Chick-fil-A on the way home <laughs> or stopping by McDonald's on the way home? or stopping by Popeye's chicken on the way home. How many of you guys have done that? So it isn't because you don't have the food. You just do it because <laughs> Charles said all the time. You, I'm sorry, Tanya, I'm in your business. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's because of the convenience, right? It's the convenience. After you work six to eight hours on the job, you kind of don't want to come home and shop, or you don't wanna come home and cook. You just wanna come home, you wanna eat, you wanna lay back and relax and just uh, enjoy being at home, right? So our travelers do the same thing. They want to be able to just go on a trip and have a good time. They don't wanna to have to worry about if they're getting the best deal. They don't wanna to have to worry about matching up these things. They don't wanna to have to worry about shift, sifting through two or three different websites. That's what they have us for, right? What? <laughs> Sorry, Adrian, I have to be honest, if nothing else, I'm guilty of doing that from time to time myself and I'm trying to get better. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's what our travelers do too. They spend, and I don't know if you guys know it, but the most searched word on Google between the hours of nine to five happens to be travel because people are looking for vacations, whether they can afford to take them at that moment or not, or whether they're ready to go. They are looking for travel during the day when they're supposed to be working. So why not allow you, the person who gets paid for this, to take that off of their plate? They don't want to be bothered with it anyway, having four or five different tabs open, going from website to website, checking to see something that they really are never going to be 100% certain about. So that now they have you, the travel professional. So you're gonna help take that worry from them by doing the work for them. So putting their tour package together puts them in a position not to have to piece it together themselves, right? So that's what you're going to do as a travel professional. And for those of you who are brand new, don't worry, practice makes perfect. So you're going to learn by getting on these trainings how to put the packages together you're going to be a self-starter. So you're going to go on G.J. Nicholson's um, Vimeo channel so that you can actually see the step-by-step -step how to click, click, click your way through the trainings. You're going to learn how to click your way through the vendor websites. You're going to learn how to put them together for them. All right. G. Jay Nicholson, Jean Nicholson. And if there's somebody, if there's somebody in the chat box that actually knows Jean's link, can you type that information in there? So our newer agents, specifically Charles, so that he can get that information and everybody else that's on the line. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so in most cases, tour packages come out to be more cost efficient than buying each service individually. If you guys haven't already done so, do it yourself. Try to price the vacations separately. Price the rental car, price the um, land portion, price the air, and then put it together in a package, say using one of our vendor websites like Vax Vacation Access. Thank you, Sadie. Good looking out. Thank you, Sadie. Look in the chat box now. Gene Nicholson's link is there. Superstar Sadie has posted it for us. Thank you, my dear. Appreciate it. So if you haven't already priced individually the different components of a vacation, do that so that you have the knowledge yourself of what it's going to look like separately and what it looks like as a package or as a bundle, as some of you guys call it. And then you're able to actually educate your client to let them know, allowing me to book this as a package, I'm able to take the stress off of you. If this trip is at least 90 days or more in the future, 
I'm able to accept the deposit most times and you're able to pay it off 45 days before you that you can travel. Most of the time, they can't do that themselves. So you, the superstar travel agent, are able to give them layers of comfort that they usually cannot get themselves. But the most important thing is to educate your client. Let them know that it is going to be more cost efficient. I did not say cheaper. I said more cost efficient. And what that means is you're going to get more bang for your buck booking it as a package with you as the travel agent versus piecing it together themselves using three or four different websites, okay? Now we are going to go over six major keys to marketing travel packages online. How many of you guys were just on the new agent Q&A? Type in the chat box, how many of you guys were just on the new agent Q&A? I'm getting a little bit of water. All right, remember I kept saying, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it. I'm gonna to talk to you about it. This is what we were talking about. So I'm gonna go over six major keys to marketing travel packages online. And for anybody that missed it today, make sure that you are logging in because Tony Evans, our VP, is going to have something special as far as announcements are concerned. You don't want to miss it because he's only going to announce it on that Q&A. So make sure that you guys are logging into that. And if you don't know when that is, you can locate these trainings in your back office on the dashboard. Now, I want you guys to listen to this video. Small Business Saturday is really important. If you have your own voice, it's easier to shine. I think having an event is the best thing you can possibly do. I would start with social media. Tell people you're having an event. Promote it on your website, on your Instagram, and your Facebook. The Saturday is coming up. I would constantly be saying, this is going to be here. This is going to be there. Please go out and support to stand out. You need to create graphics. You need advertising, posters, banners. Use the digital assets from Shop Small Studio. Find other small businesses in your community and collaborate so you can shine as bright as you can. If you're authentic, people will see it and they will come. Let Wendy into the training. Come on in the room. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, for those of you who have to change your email, don't dread it. Go ahead and do it. I've changed my email when I bought my um, domain and I had to change them. So don't worry. We've all had to do that at one time or another. So I want to make sure that you guys took away something from that video. The person who was in it was very specific in the advice that he gave you guys. He said, if you're going to build your business, you're going to have to be consistent. If you're going to use social media and online services like we're talking about right now, you're gonna to have to think outside of the box, create graphics, create videos, create anything that, that makes you stand out and shows your personality so that you can share that with people and interest them. If you're in a position where you cannot afford, and I was one of those people, you cannot afford business cards at this moment, you cannot afford graphics at this moment, locate other small businesses in your area and talk about barter, the barter system. Do you guys know what the barter system is? Do you guys know what the barter, yes, barter services. Let them know, hey, I will book your first two trips totally commission free if you'll do my business cards for me. How about that? I will book your next three trips for free if you will make a sign for me to put in my front yard. Find businesses, small businesses in your area and ask, exactly, Marcia, exchange a service for a service, okay? So that's the takeaway from that video. So first things first, 
To successfully sell your tours online, you're going to need to create enticing packages for your target market. By understanding what your target market is, you'll understand what they want and how to effectively market toward them. Have you guys given any thought to who your target market is going to be? If you haven't, that is something to consider. Who's your target market? Are you going to focus on selling couples trips? Are you going to focus on selling vacations to millennials? Are you going to focus on selling trips to singles and maybe create like um, a speed dating situation? You know, think about it. That's a part of finding your niche, Brittany. It's something to think about. So maybe start in one area and then branch out. Charles, I am all purpose now, you know, seven years in, eight years in, but I started off just focusing on all-inclusive vacations. I branched out into cruises. Then I branched out into family vacations, specializing in Disney vacations. And I am an all-purpose travel consultant. I offer a concierge service, meaning I do it all. All they do is go on vacation and they have access to me from the beginning until they return home. So give us some thought of what your target market is going to be. For example, if you are going to target Generation X, you need to understand that you are mostly targeting a group of people that prioritize family-friendly tours, affordability, and the ability to relax when they are on vacation. They want to be able to relax and unwind. So if Gen X is going to be your target market, you wanna understand that these are things that they're going to be attracted to. So as you're looking for vacations to market toward them, make this your focus. Understand your audience. By purchasing tour packages, travelers don't have to worry about creating their own, own itinerary like we went over before. You're going to put that information together for them and you're going to market it toward them. So like we just went over, if their focus is to be able to relax while they're on vacation, you want to make sure you find an all-inclusive resort for them where they can actually go there and don't have to worry about anything. They can just have a good time. So in order to create an effective marketing strategy, which is what you're going to focus on, or a marketing plan, you want, you want to focus on how to promote tour packages. That is a, an important element of generating your sales. So what does that mean? You want to narrow it down to something that the deposit is going to be affordable. The overall package is the most bang for the buck. That doesn't mean it has to be the cheapest. It just needs to make sense, right? So you don't want to focus on a trip that is for Bali and Bora Bora that's happening in 90 days if it's going to be a $5,000 vacation. If you're going to find a vacation that is going to cost a little more, you wanna give your clients time to pay it off. That is effective planning. And then you want to market it in enough time that they can put together their deposit. You have time to circulate this repeatedly before the first deposit is due. That is a part of creating an effective marketing strategy. Write down what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Make it plain for yourself. I'm going to plan this trip for July of 2023. The deposits are going to be due in August of 2022. So I need to start working on it now and start to advertise it now. There's a website called Fiverr, F-I-D-E-R-R, Fiverr that will make flyers like what you see on the screen for you for like five bucks. The lowest that I've gotten one made was five bucks. You tell them the information that you need, they put it together for you. They don't even get paid until they finish it and you approve it. And then you start to circulate this. You can put it on all of your social media pages. And if it was me, I would advertise it every single day. Once a day, every day. I will send it out to everybody that is in my text message log in my phone. I would email it to everybody that is in my email list. Um, take some time and strategize on how you're going to get that done. 
Now through marketing, your customers will discover your business and understand the different services you offer, including your tour packages. Absolutely, Marsha Canva and Poster My Wall were my go-tos when I first got started. I just have gotten so busy with nurturing my team and helping you guys that I kind of don't have time to put that together now. I still have a nine-year-old. I've got two adult kids. I have two grandkids and a husband that I like a whole lot. Um, so I really don't have time to create these things myself. So I look for very affordable ways that I can do it, right? Um, I do not use Project Broadcast, but now that you said it, I'm going to look into it. Thank you for saying that. I am sharp as I am. I appreciate it. Now, we do suggest that hand-to-hand -hand is effective, it is, but it will only get you so far. When I first got started, I handed out flyers to all of my neighbors and my neighbors' neighbors. Um, I used to go to shopping malls and pass out my flyers. I used to put my flyers on um, cars when I would go get my nails done. When I would go to the grocery store, I put them on job boards. I put them on bulletin boards. I would give them out at church. I literally would pass out flyers everywhere. But the truth is, handing out flyers will get you a few bookings. It may not give you the volume that you are looking for, though, right? It may not give you the volume. The majority of your future customers are booking via online platforms. So it's important that you are marketing online too. Now, I am not saying market online only. I'm saying market online too. That means in addition to other things, in addition to talking about your business when you are in an earshot of people, in addition to passing out flyers and passing out your business cards, in addition to flat out asking people to refer other people to you, in addition to that, so many people are booking online. You want to make sure that you have an online presence too. All right. So we're going to go over how to effectively promote your tour packages through marketing, online marketing. So the first step, you guys write this down or take a screenshot, either way. We are recording it, so you'll be able to review it. But I want you guys to have this hot off the press so you can put it into some action tonight and review it tonight and then go over it tomorrow because it might take maybe a day or so to get this um, transcribed so that we can put it online for you guys. But yes, you will have access to it. So ensure that you have a mobile friendly website with a 24 seven online booking engine. You wanna make sure people have access to booking with you online 24 seven. So what does that look like? So this is my website. My business is called Pearls and Stars Exclusive Travel. And yes, I am locatable in a Google search. I will do a training on that at another time. But this is my personal website and embedded in my website, I have the link to take them to the Evolution Travel website that's created for us, which gives the client access to book their own travel. If they want to book with me and I'm closed and they just wanna get it done right then, they can reach this website, our Evo Travel Agent website. They can reach that through my personalized website. Yes, you absolutely can, absolutely can. And I suggest that you do. You never want your clients to have to only have the option to book with you at that moment because it may be a certain time of day or the night that, that they need to get this done and you might be asleep. I lived in Hawaii for eight years, as I mentioned to you guys, and I was six hours behind Eastern Standard Time. So when my evening was just getting started, it was the wee hours of the morning for my um, Eastern Standard Time clients. So if they needed to book while the, it was early morning for them, which was late night for me, they had access to go right in here and book their own travel. And we actually earn a commission for that. 
So you want to make sure that if you create your own website, that you embed your evolution travel website there so that they can book themselves. All right. Here's your second step. Take a screenshot or write this down. Advertise via social media and or paid search. So social media, the free social media, that's for my new people that are on the line. The new people that are on the line. You want to use your Facebook page, your personal Facebook page to do that. You can also create a free Facebook page for your business. That's for my newer agents. For you seasoned agents, you should be at the point where you can create a budget where you can spend money to advertise using Facebook. Create a realistic budget where you're spending $2 a day or $20 a week, but advertise, invest in yourself so that you can advertise on social media. Now, if you haven't done so already, Google some other or check out some other travel businesses that are established on Facebook. This is one of them, Travel Divas. Now, they are not in Evolution Travel. And if I ever get a free lane, I'm definitely going to get them to join us because they are amazing with how they advertise. They are amazing and cons consistent. They have group trips that go all year round and they talk about about it on social media literally daily. This is what their Facebook page looks like. So again, this is Travel Divas. They are not Evolution Travel or one of our partners, but they do have a successful travel company. This is how they use their business page on social media and they do pay for ads. For those of you who are seasoned agents, you want to follow them so you can get some ideas for how they advertise. They are amazing. And the ads on Facebook can be as, as affordable as you need them to be. And they'll show up in the algorithm of people that you target. This is what their Facebook page looks like. You see how consistent it is? Follow other travel agents, follow other companies that are consistent. You can definitely learn from them, but this is what their Facebook business page looks like. Branch Up is great, but you also want to add your own content. Branch Up is, is definitely great, but again, add your own content. Here's your third step, take a screenshot or write it down. All right, so you want to create quality content on your website and social media in order to drive organic traffic. We were just covering that with Travel Divas, right? So we have our very own Lanique Browning. This is my sweetheart. She is a powerhouse when it comes to advertising. I'm telling you, the girl cannot be touched when it comes to advertising. She is the epitome of being consistent and persistent. Make sure if you guys are not following her, and I didn't say make a friend, I said follow, because she is keeping her options open to friend new clients and new prospective partners. So click follow. And she's got three pages that you could choose from because she maxes out. So make sure that you follow her. Do not share her post. Use her post as inspiration, all right? Use her post as inspiration, but she is a powerhouse when it comes to advertising. I've learned so much from her just in the last 30 days. She's amazing. It's so many people in our company that are super talented, that all shine in different areas. And not only should you, her, it's right on the screen. Lanique Browning is at the top of the screen. Lanique Browning. All right. Um, make sure that you are following these powerhouses so that you can be inspired by them. I am. 
I am. You are never at a point where you can't learn from somebody else, okay? And she is extremely helpful. Now we have another agent who happens to be on my particular team and she is a product of the product and she's extremely coachable because her sponsor is a powerhouse when it comes to advertising and using social media at its best. So this website is actually owned by our own Kanisha Travis. Now she is an IATAN card holder and a powerhouse when it comes to booking, but she has an amazing website. So as I mentioned, you definitely want to use your website as well as your social media pages so that you can advertise. Her page is put together very professionally and she goes into detail about what she has to offer, what she is certified in, and she gives all types of details and the pictures are so inviting. She also has testimonials right on her page from clients that she has helped. She also has a way that you can contact her in order for her to book your travel, okay? So make sure that you are, it is beautiful, isn't it? Professionally done, very, very professional. I'm super, super proud of her. And you guys should be too, because she's one of us. She's an evolution travel agent, right? So you can actually take your business from zero to a hundred. You just have to have the drive to do it because we have agents right here that are willing to help you and agents that you can pattern yourself after, right? Okay, so the fourth step, request customer reviews through automated follow-up messaging systems, okay? So if you have a website like we just showed you on Kanisha's page, you wanna make sure you have something set up so that your clients can actually, yes, clients can book using her website, but they can also, which is what she specializes in, is putting together trips. That is one of her specialties, putting together group trips, okay? But you make your website tailor-made to you and what you're going to do. Because I lived in Hawaii and my time zone was so wonky, I made sure that my clients were able to have options. They can either give me their information and I'll book it for them or they can do it themselves. Okay, but you wanna set something up so that your clients can give you testimonials and don't wait until you book a trip. If you've given them awesome customer service where you've answered all their questions, you've given them a free quote or two, ask them to do a review. You don't have to wait until you've actually sold something to them, okay? Think outside the box because you're building your brand, right? And you are building your client base. Closed mouth does not get fed. Ask for what you need. So these are some of my uh, recommendations from my Facebook page. So if you do not have a website yet, create a website, uh, a Facebook page for your business, because again, that is free. It is free 99, my favorite price. And make sure that you ask people to come and give you recommendations. You've offered them great customer service. You've given them your time. Ask them to go onto your Facebook page and give you a recommendation. And once they've done that, make sure that you thank them. This creates activity on your Facebook business page and it pushes you up into the algorithm. Make the most of your customer database by sending personalized email marketing. This is another tip. Make the most of your customer database by sending personalized email marketing. Do you have a customer registration form? Put that in the chat box. And while I'm waiting on those answers, I'm going to answer uh, Brittany's question really quick. Do you recommend doing free quotes in the beginning or service free service fee? I recommend doing at least two free quotes. I used to give three, three free quotes when I first got started and it was the best practice that I ever got. No time is wasted. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of you guys saying no. So we're going to help you 
alleviate that issue, okay? So take a screenshot of what you see, take a picture of the screen right now. You can go into Jot Form, J-O-T-F-O-R-M, and there's a link to a new customer registration form that is already made in a template on Jot Form. We are here to work smart, not hard, right? We want to work smart. Let our things work for us. So Jot Form is here for you. It's here to help, all right? So this is how you can get to the template that is already done for you. And you can um, special, you can actually make it special for you. You can go in and customize it, okay? So the link for it is at the top of the screen. Take a screenshot or a picture. And here's how to get to templates that are already made for you. Already made for you. You can add your logo and you can customize this just for you, okay? Susan, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. All right, so this is the form that you need to create your new customer registration form, okay? This is it. And you can rename it, whatever you want to name it, you can customize it, okay? All right, so next you're going to take the information that you gather from your customer registration form that I just showed you on job form, right? And you're going to export it into an Excel spreadsheet. Guess what job form does? It actually creates it for you. So you're gonna give your job form link to any and everybody, text it to everybody in your phone. If people prank you and text you, Text them back the link so you have a potential new client. Send this to everybody, any and everybody. So you're creating your list. Now here's another tip. Microsoft Access will also allow you to create a contact, a contact database. They have a template. So check this out. The Access Contacts Database Template helps you quickly start tracking information about your personal and business contacts. The welcome form contains links to get more help, leave feedback, or view this video. This form is also available by clicking the question mark. To get started, let's take a look at the contact list form. To add a new contact, select the new link at the bottom of the data sheet or the new contact button at the top of the form. We'll add a new contact named Lynn Robinson. And we'll add a picture to help put a face on the person. Select Save and New to add another contact. Or just select Close. The new contact appears in the list. To edit or add more details, select the open link for that person. This template comes with two reports already created. To see a list of all your contacts, double click the directory report. Or for a list of contacts with their phone numbers, double click the phone book report. To delete a contact, head back to the contact list form. Select the record in the data sheet. Right click anywhere in the row and then select delete record. Access asks for confirmation before deleting the record. All right, so for those of you who like options, this is also an option for you to use. You can also create this in Microsoft Access. Now, Charles, I don't know. That's a question that I don't know, okay? So there are plenty of, of uh, options I just went through two of them, but you guys are more than welcome to explore other options. Use what works for you. I just wanted to make sure that I introduce you to something, okay?
Now you're going to take that list that you're going to make with your potential new clients and you're going to create sales emails to send to them. Did you guys know that you can create sales emails on your own or you can use the pre-constructed sales emails that are in our vendors' websites? Did you guys know that there are some already pre-constructed for you? Work smart, not hard. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly where you can find sales that are already put together for you. This is for VAX Vacation Access. So you're going to log into VAX, click on Offers and Incentives, Offers and Incentives. Then click on Promotions. Then you're going to click on Promotions. All right, so VAX, Offers and Incentives, then Promotions. You're going to be able to find loads of promotions and they update them constantly. Loads of promotions are here waiting for you. They, at this time, there were 376 of them available. So you will literally never run out of deals, okay? So you can print this and give it out to your neighbors. You can also email it to your potential clients and it actually gives you the details of whatever the deal is. You can personalize it. You can send it to multiple people at the same time. You can even list there where you want them to reply to. So if they reply back and say, hey, I want this deal, the email will come to you. Yes, you absolutely can post these on social media, absolutely. So this particular offer is one for Disney World. You can give them a personalized message there. And again, it has the quick facts about the trip or the deal. It gives them the travel dates when they have to book by. And then the other details about the deal. And again, this is just one of many. Yes, Peggy, they take the hard work out of it for us. You can edit it, you can print it, you can email it. It's totally up to you. But this information is right inside Vax. And this is just one of many that you can find there, okay? Maintain cohesive branding and storytelling across all channels for a rich customer experience. So what does that mean? Um, Sherilyn, if you email it to yourself, yes. Email it to yourself first and then email it out. You absolutely care. So what does it mean when we say maintain cohesive branding and storytelling across all channels for a rich customer experience? What does that mean to you guys? And then I'm gonna show you some examples. What does that mean? Anybody, everybody, make it all the same. Exactly, Charles, consistent. There you go, Amy. Be consistent, absolutely. So if you're advertising a certain way on Facebook, and you're on TikTok, be consistent. If you're on Instagram, be consistent. Make sure that your branding is the same across the board because it gives you validity, right? It gives you validity. It makes it look like it should be, like you know what you're talking about. So if you guys haven't done so already, if you are not familiar with who DJ Khaled is, Go to his Instagram page sometime tonight or tomorrow and check out how he advertises. When it's time for him to put out a new album, that is all he talks about until the album comes out. <laughs> exactly. We the best. <laughs> I followed him when he put out the last album and his catchphrase was still in the meeting. And he said it almost every day. Paula, do you remember when he was talking about his deals with um, the different brands, the different sporting goods brands? And he kept saying, still in a meeting. And that's what he said almost every day until the new album came out, right? So he was consistent. Same thing with our Kenesha Tra Travis. She is consistent in her advertising. What you see on Facebook, his name is DJ Khaled. It's up at the top left side of the screen right now. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. 
you can follow both of them right on Instagram and get some inspiration. So if you're looking at the screen, you can actually see what their posts look like so far. <laughs> Peggy, I still say we the best. <laughs> Kanisha is super consistent with her branding across the board. It's the same thing with DJ Khaled. They are both super consistent. Draw some inspiration from both. All right, so your final step again is to be consistent. None of this works if you don't work it. I can teach you all day and all night, but if you don't make a commitment to doing these things and doing them daily, or at least making a schedule for you to do these things on a regular basis, I promise you, none of it will work. My team's mantra is pray, grind, repeat, because that is our secret to success. It's not a secret because we actually tell the world what we do. We pray about it because we are prayers. We grind it out. Every single day we are working on travel. Every single day we are training. Every single day we are really grinding it out and we're working every day. We're helping everybody that we can help in our company. We are helping all of the clients that we can help in our communities and whoever we can connect with on social media. And then what do we do to make sure that it happens over and over and over, we repeat. It's simple, it's consistency. That is our, our little secret to success. You have to be consistent in this. So if you don't have a planner, get a planner. Make it plain, write down what you are going to do. If you have a problem with foreseeing or forecasting what the week is gonna look like for you, just start doing the next day. Tonight, before you lay your head on the pillow, write down what you want to get done in your travel business tomorrow. And then do not lay your head on the pillow tomorrow until you have completed that. And it doesn't have to be anything astronomical or over the top. It can just be, I'm going to finish the Bahamas training on the Travel Agent Academy tomorrow. I'm going to watch at least one video on YouTube about the Bahamas. I'm going to reach out to my sponsor tomorrow to let them know what I did. Those are three things that you can do. Three things that you can do tomorrow that will be effective in your business. And then do it again on Tuesday. Do it again on Wednesday. Do it again on Thursday. Do it again on Friday. Be consistent. It will become muscle memory to you once you have done it so many times. Just step out there. Don't waste time getting ready to get ready. Start with what you know now and use it starting tomorrow. Now, Paula, you, you're on to something there to draw your race boards. Now, I have three um, boards in my office. Well, I had them in Hawaii. They're on the floor here in Georgia. So they have to be put on the wall. I'm waiting for Mr. Fix-It to do it, AKA my husband, Brandon. And um, I keep one board for my team. So I know who's doing what and who needs what. I keep one board for travel that is happening, who I'm quoting, who's already traveling at this moment and who I'm waiting for pay from as far as the commission. And then I have one board to keep up with the trainings. So I have three of them. You get what you need, you make it work for you, okay? So now this is the final thing. Do you have your convention ticket? Do you have your ticket for the family reunion? Type in the chat box, if you have it, do you, do you, do you, do you have your ticket for the family reunion? If you don't, Tony just said on the last training that we only have less than 50 tickets left. So that means you guys got to get on it as soon as possible. I have given some powerhouse trainings in the past. We've had some awesome trainings from our other leaders. We've got some very special things planned for you guys this year. And this will be my first training since 2019. So I'm excited 
to get there in the room with you guys, to get a bunch of hugs and handshakes so I can get there with you guys. I'm so, so excited. If you haven't gotten your ticket yet, use that website there, www.archertrap.com backslash Evo 2022. If you haven't done it, get to it, right? Get to it. So thank you for pouring into yourselves and to your business. This is your one-star platinum consultant, the new platinum peach. And again, I'm excited to see you guys in Las Vegas for our 2022 convention. Well, we have uh, newly branded our family reunion because we consider ourselves to be a family. So don't meet me there, beat me there. I wanna see all of you new and not so new agents. I'm looking forward to getting the energy from you guys. I want lots of hugs, lots of love. Uh, I'm COVID free and I'll make sure that I'll test again before we come, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to meeting all of you guys. The energy is amazing. You gotta get in the room so that you can get those trains. You get to meet the vendors too. We've got this awesome, travel trade show that's gonna happen. You get to meet Ron Archer and our founder and hear from our founder right in the same room because he always has a training that is just over the top. We've got a lot of things planned for you guys. And again, I am looking forward to making this my first training since 19. A lot has happened within these last couple of years and COVID kept us apart, but now we're ready to be back in the same room. So I'm looking forward. So for both those of you who, who are still working on it, I'm praying that you guys get it done and I'm looking forward to seeing you. So again, thanks for taking time out of your day today to pour into yourselves. I'm really hoping that you got something from this and I'm looking forward to doing this again with you guys really, really soon. I'm gonna turn it back over to our hostess with the mostest, Ms. Deidre Driscoll. Thank you guys. Family, jump in the chat box, blow it up. Let's see the fire emojis, the sevens. Was that training not amazing? I told you it would be something you could put into practice right away. Thank you so much, Nina, for doing amazing as always and caring enough to just pour out the practical to us so we can all be successful. Family, that again is just a, a taste of the kind of amazing training you'll get at conventions. So we definitely wanna see you there. And I saw some of the comments in the chat box, family, no matter what amount of time you have, if you do five minutes of what you saw in this, and then next week do 10 minutes, work your way. If you don't, I don't let it seem as if you have to have hours and hours. If you don't have hours and hours yet, the way to get that time freedom is to grow your business. So anytime you invest in your business is going to pay off and reward you with time freedom, with money freedom, with vacations and trips and all of those things. So don't despise your small beginnings. If you don't have a lot of time up front, take some time and make sure you invest it back into your business. You won't regret it. Family, this training was recorded and it will be posted. So I want to do something really quickly. Let's 